Hey there Lickin' Riffers, I'm Asaf Levavi from LickinRiff.com and it's time for another viewer request and in this video we're gonna learn a fingerstyle arrangement made especially for you guys and girls of Besame Mucho. Beautiful song, I hope you like the arrangement. First I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note with the tabs right here on the screen as usual. So first it goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so first we have to talk about the rhythm. Now, the rhythm goes like this. I'm gonna play it slowly. Okay? It's bass chord, chord, bass chord, bass chord. Okay? Um, and for the chord, I usually use strings 2 and 3 because the melody notes in this arrangement are mostly on the first string. So um, the chord, let's say this is E minor, so we're gonna use the sixth string as our bass note and strings two and three as the chord. So it's bass chord, chord, bass chord, bass chord, okay? And let's say for A minor, when we bar five on strings one, two, and three, we're gonna use the fifth string as our bass note. So, okay, and if we play two bars of the same chord, it sounds like this, bass chord, chord, bass chord, bass chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, bass chord, bass chord. Okay, so that's actually what happens in the first couple of melody licks. So let's start learning this and you'll see how it all fits together. So you put seven on the first string, a high B note, and the chord is E minor. So you play strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, and you play the chord as it is. You can block pick it, okay, or strum pick it, okay. Or just, you know, do whatever you want with it. You can play the first and sixth strings if you want. Um, so you play that and then you play the open E string. And then you play the rest of the rhythm with descending bass notes on the D string. Okay, because two on the D string is another E note. So you have this. Okay, two, one, zero on the D string, but you pick the chord between the bass notes, so you get. Okay, now you can play strings two and three, you can play strings one, two, and three, because the melody hasn't really started yet. Um, so you can still play the whole chord because you've got nothing going on on the E string. So again, up to you. Two, one, zero on the D string, 
And then the bass note continues to descend to four on the A string, but then you have a melody line, so you play this. Okay, you play strings one, two, three, and five with four on the fifth string, okay? A C sharp note, and you play it, okay? And then you add two and three on the E string. So what we get is this. Okay, again, E minor with a high B, uh, B note. Open E string, two, one, zero on the D string, four on the fifth string with E minor. And then two, three on the E string. And then you go here, you bar the fifth fret on strings one, two, and three, and play seven on the E string. This is A minor add nine and um, you play the chord with the A bass, and you get this, as I just played. Uh, and then you wanna put uh, your third finger on seven, so you have the pinky free to play eight on the E string, and you play eight, pull off to seven, and then five. Or you can do a double pull off. Okay, but I prefer to pick the five because then I can play the bass note again and continue the rhythm. So, um, okay, five with the A bass note and then the rhythm. So, okay, so just to make things clear, I'll play it in context. Okay, you see how it all connects? Again, seven with the chord, eight, seven, five with the bass again, and then you continue the rhythm. Okay, so um, you get this. Okay, and then, play this. Now, if this sounds familiar, it's because this is the beginning of Stairway to Heaven. Okay? It's exactly the same, because it's A minor with a descending bass note. Okay, just like here. This time, instead of E minor, it's A minor. Okay, exactly the same move, five frets up. So, um, the melody line, coincidentally, does the same thing it does at the beginning of Stairway to Heaven, goes 5, 7, 8 on the E string. So, you've got the chord with 7 on the D string, so it's 5, 5, 5, 7. And then you play 5, 5 on the E string again. And then you play 5, 5, 5 with 6 on the D string and you add seven on the E string, and you do the same thing. And then you bar the fifth string up to the fourth, uh, the fifth fret up to the fourth string, so you have five, 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 and five, and you add the pinky on eight on the E string, and you do the same thing. Okay, so you get this. Okay? Five, 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 seven. Seven five five six, eight five five five. Okay, just like phone numbers. Sometimes that makes it easier to remember. And then this. Okay, this is a C diminished chord. You play it eleven ten eleven ten on strings one two three and four. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's basically it, you just play the chord. And then 12, 14 on the E string. And then you can slide the 14 down back to 7 and play the first chord. So it's... Right? The first chord, the first E minor chord. 7, 0, 0, and the E bass note. So... You can play the bass note first and then the chord. 
okay, for syncopation. Um, again, depending on your taste. And that's the first half of the first part. Um, so let's play it slowly from the start. E minor, descending bass notes, descending again to 4 on the A string, E minor still, and then A minor add 9, Okay, you can do an abbreviated rhythm here, just bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, okay, uh, just the first half of the rhythm, again and again. Um, so, then, Stairway to Heaven, C, uh, C diminished, first chord again. And then when I play the chord, I play strings two and three, as I told you before, just like on the A string, uh, the A the A minor chord, um, I play strings two and three as the rhythm, as the rhythm's chord. Yeah, I let the E string ring while I play the chord. Okay, so the melody keeps on ringing in the background. Um, so, and then it's this, okay, this is E7, because we're taking these two notes, strings 2 and 3, from E7, so we get 9 and 7 on strings 2 and 3, and we add the melody note, which is a high E note on 12, so I use my 1st, 2nd, and 4th fingers for this, okay, so it's 12, 9, 7, and the E bass note, and you get this, okay, now, because uh, you play 2 bars of this, and the only melody note is this, at the beginning, um, what you can do is you can add the E string to your rhythm every now and then, like this. Okay, just to remind the listener or yourself um, whatever it is you want to emphasize. Okay, up to you. You can play anything you want here. It's just to empty bars. By empty, I mean no melody. Okay? You can play around with the rhythm. Okay? Whatever you want. Just have fun with this. And then this. Okay, you play the chord once, or just the 12 on the E string, and then 10-8 on the E string. And then the same A minor line as before. Same thing. Exactly the same thing. A minor add 9, then 8 to 7, then 5, then the rhythm. Exactly the same thing. And then this. You bar 12 on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings and play the 6th string along with either the whole chord, this is E minor again, or just the E string, just the 1st string, so it's either this or this, and then you continue the melody. The melody is strings on 12, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, and then open E string, so you get now, the fun thing here is that you can play natural harmonics if you want, okay? Whatever suits your style. Natural harmonics, of course, is, if you don't know, um, it's my obligation to teach it um, because this is a lesson. And you just put your finger up on the strings you want to play out, uh, in this case, strings one, two, and three, 
right upon the right above the steel fret not the wooden part the steel fret itself on 12 the 12th fret you just touch it you don't press it you don't want the string sound you want this sound uh, this ethereal sound and you just touch it you pick it you let it go okay right? because if you keep your finger there it might dampen the sound so okay same thing strings one two three two three with the e bass note at first and with the e high e string at the end so Okay, or pressing it down. Okay. And then it's an E diminished chord. Same thing as you did here, but on 3 2 3 2. Okay. And then 2 0 on the E string. Then B7. And you play strings 1, 2, 3, and 5. Open E string. You can pull off to the open E string, right? And keep the chord on. And then four on the second string. And then an E minor chord, an open E minor chord in any way you want. The important thing is that the last melody line is the open E string. So... Okay, so... You can play strings one and six and then play the chord as strings two and three so um okay or play e minor put e minor on uh and not be lazy like me and change bass notes as you go along with the rhythm okay it's after all, it's bass chord, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, chord. So with every bass note, just change a string. Play string um, five and then four and then five and then six or six, five, four, six or six, five, five, six. Whatever you play will work because it's a chord. It's just a chord. You just want to alternate bass notes a little. So... That's part one of Besame Mucho. A minor. Stairway to heaven. Diminished. Back to E minor. And then E7. And then 12, 10, 8, A minor line again. And then this. I don't know if you notice, I had a momentary blackout. The high E minor line. And then E diminished. B7. E minor. Okay, now for the second part. Um, you bar for A minor again, 5-5-5 five, five, five on strings 1, 2, and 3 with the open A string. And you play it, and then play the E string three more times. That's it. Then 3-2 on the E string. And then E minor with 3 on the E string instead of 7. And you do the same thing. And then 2-0 on the E string. And then B7, and you do the same thing. And then 3-5 on the E string. And then this. This is a diminished run. It's a diminished chord, just playing through its variations, its voicings, because... All of these three chords are voicings of the same chord because diminished chords um, flip 
every three frets. So you start with seven, six, seven, six, you slide down to four, three, four, three, then you slide down to one, zero, one, zero, and slide back up to four, three, four, three. So you don't have to slide. This sounds nice as well, kind of cheeky. So it's, um, okay, that works as well. I just like slides for some reason, ever since I was a child. Okay, so um, A minor again afterwards. Okay, same line, three, two on the E string, and then E minor with three on the E string again, and then two, zero again. But then, the second time around, it's F sharp. You can play F sharp seven, but you'll have to strum it to hear the seven on the D string. So uh, again, up to you. I, I like to keep it the way it is in finger style and just play this. And get the F sharp major sound. Uh, but you can do this, okay, for emphasis. Um, and then this. Okay, um, eight, seven on the second string, and when you play seven, bar the seventh fret and prepare yourself for B7. Okay, B7, again, you need to play the D string in order to hear it, so you can do this. So, okay, and then you get the seventh sound. So that's the second part. So before we wrap it up, let's play it again, A minor. E minor with a high G note. B7. Diminished run. And then A minor again. E minor again. B7 again. No, sorry. F sharp. Now B7. And then play the first part again and you end it in any way you want on E minor uh, at the end of the line or uh, as I did in the demonstration just play the first uh, the first lick the first melody phrase and then end on the ending just connect the first melody phrase with the last melody phrase or do anything you want now it's your arrangement you take it and you make your own version of it but before you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's a ton of lessons already on the channel and you know it's free so why not just click subscribe and become a member of the lick and ref community and go download the tab the link is right below in the description for free just everything here on lick and riff is for free it's called lick and riff free guitar education and you know if you want to give something back there's a donation button a large blue donation button right above the tabs on the website you can't miss it and everything goes right back into lick and riff into making these lessons filming them editing them making the arrangements practicing them uh perfecting them and just taking the time to do everything it takes a lot of work so if you want to help out i'd be more than grateful for your donation and i thank you in advance for it anyway you go practice this now you have fun with this arrangement and make it your own don't forget have fun with it and check out what kind of variations you can come up with if you came up with something really good make a video of it and send it to me i'd love to see what you did with it you go have fun, you go get this under your fingers, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.